<clears throat> good morning, good morning. All right. Uh, oh, wow. It's been a while. Several weeks, maybe a month since I last posted the video. Let's see what time it is. I mean, uh, what is the uh, weather like? It's uh, 5.57. 5.57 Got a couple of hours before starting working 57, 5.57 a.m. Um, wow, sunny. Okay. That looks good. Gonna have a good day. Although I think outside there is uh, the ground is pretty wet. Uh, not from the rain, but from the, uh, the, look at that, no rain, 1% uh, chance, which is nothing, on Saturday, Friday, oh wow, we're gonna have a nice day for the next 5 days, uh, how about the entire week, <laughs> good, very good, very good day. Not hot. Around uh, sitting around uh, 80, 80 high, so which is good. Oh, thunderstorm on Sunday, next Sunday, but that's that's the 17th though. Um, yeah, thunderstorm, but no rain, so that's good. That is good for today. Uh, anyways, let's get back to our uh, program. It has been a while. What I want to do, um, let's open up this access. We're going to create a new database. I'm going to show you, um, I want to talk about the uh, date. It seems uh, um, most of you who's been doing the uh, calendar that I've uh, shown you how has date di difficulty with the dates. So I'm gonna, ooh, did I just do that? Let's delete that one. Let's uh, rename this guy. How about date uh, format? Yeah, I'm going to show you how to work with date format. Alright, so let's do um, formatting uh, date. Create, and we're not interested in anything in here. Just want to show you quickly on how to um, how to get the date going um, let's see the best way to do this forming a date yeah let's do that I'm gonna do this Kind of thinking out loud. Uh, design. We're gonna put this guy in there. That looks good. We want to. Uh, I'm gonna show you um, how to format the date because um, some of you guys are having issues with the date. And uh, let's change that to date. Call it a txt um, date. And we'll go ahead and uh, give this guy a name. Date. And we're going to align this guy to the right. Makes more sense. Um, also, I want to select everybody here. We're going to put txt1 
that way hard and then I want to put two labels here uh, one there put blah blah there for now call uh, LBL format Uh, and then we're gonna do another one actually we're gonna do this uh, txt one here and then copy this guy um, put it right there and we're gonna call this one LBL format Result. I think that's good. Make it a little nicer. Let's move this guy down to the tab. All right. And I'm going to just going to copy this guy. Like so. And copy that one. Like so. Select both of them and push it up. We're gonna give this guy just the caption. Uh, date format. How about date format? And then this guy. this guy oh that looks good and we don't have to be too fancy that's good enough for now that's good enough for now so let's um uh, this is going to be a command um the date format Um, yeah, some of you guys, maybe most of you guys, well, some of you guys, I wouldn't say most, most of you guys already know this. However, some of you guys do not. Um, when we're working with dates. Oh, no. You know what, I'm gonna select that. Select that, you know me. That looks good. I am going to uh, shorten this guy out. Right there. Right there. It looks evenly right. Like so. To make it even better, I think we're going to do like so. Um, not interested in any of these guys. That's good. That looks good. All right, save. Let's call this uh, uh, formatting date. All right. One more thing, we need to change this guy to date, short date. Yeah, short date. Alright, save. And select this uh, button right here. And then go to event. So what we want, what I want to show you, ways to get your um, dates to come out correctly dates to come out correctly because uh, some of you guys are having issues with this so let's do this if not if no um, 
if t date then else so all right actually uh, let's not do that let's do this let's do this I'm gonna make it a one liner here if it's no uh, equal to date actually it was no because we just want to say if, if it's no we want to say it to, to, to today's date and then in here we can say unload and that unload will call that book booker when we launch this guy we just do that uh so what we want to do is um let's see if caption let's see what they are this one will be um will be format This will be date. This will be short. I'm going to change it to now. Now, now includes the date and time, all right? And then we're gonna, I'm gonna copy this book right here. Add the uh, character return, and this guy will say format um, law. Same thing here. And this one will say format. Uh, how about MMM? Three M's. Uh, obviously, you're going to see the outcome on for all this. I don't know why I put it. Uh, the guy there. Oh, the yeah. no wonder. Yep, take that guy out. The, there. All right, let's continue. Um, this one will be date. M M. And TB. Uh, let's see what else we want to put in there. I want to show you how you can manipulate dates. You know what I want to put it. That's a short. That's long. Um, short, long, how about this guy, how about this guy, oops, how about, how about hour, minute, second, Good right there. These are the things that you have to uh, know. Uh, have to know when you want to work with uh, code. And code.
coding has a lot to do with dates because you use a timestamp on everything on record. And dates. The date of the orders, the date of this, the date of that. So, but you need to know how to extract things out from that the, each date. All right. Um. So that looks good right there for now. Ah, uh, do 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 do. Oh, this uh, yeah. And how about? How about? There are more. <laughs> there are more. Um, how about day? How about day? Yeah. How about day? Now I'm going to get a little smarter here. I get a little, oops, what did I forget there? Forget. Got one too many there. Alright, I'm gonna get a little smart. I'm gonna copy the entire <laughs> the entire thing so I don't have to <laughs> How about day? Alright, can you guess what these are? This is the name of the month. This is just the month number. Name of the day. Month day. How about week? Would the week work? How about week? Let's see what that works. Now I'm not doing this week, if you know. So, but I'm I want I'm curious to see what it's going to show us. All right. Now let's do this. I'm gonna copy this guy. Um, copy that. Replace that with the uh, form format result. I think it's a format result. I wanna double check. Yep, see there. Yeah, remember me. Uh, I'm not too good with the memory, but seems to be doing fine with my memory. Uh now we need to take this guy out. We take that guy out, and we're gonna need to replace this guy with a T, M T X T. See there? Uh, that would be now like so. Similarly, we need to take that guy out. It would be. MTXT place that with the double quote now. Uh, what did I miss? Oh, the, there. Now, when you get ding 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 and you know how to correct, that means you are doing good. All right, no, nothing to worry about. All right, as long as you recognize the error, and you should be good. As far as learning how to code, all right, everybody should know how to code. It's not that big a deal. If it's big of a deal, I wouldn't be able to do it. <laughs> uh, it was just got the. Uh, 
Oh, and there, see that? Anytime you see the ding, 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 and you know how to make correction, you are good. All right. Yeah, this is uh, if you uh, I notice a whole bunch of you guys are putting your, the calendar to work, and some of you guys having issues with the calendar. So, but um, when I first did the calendar, um, I didn't expect a whole lot of uh, overseas people like in other countries. Uh, in countries other than the United States but it seems like um, most of you guys are from overseas so and therefore when I made correction to the uh, video like debugging make sure you watch that okay when you set the date do not set the date as I did in my calendar one video watch my uh, debug um, date issues and you're gonna see that I show you how to do it correctly that way that the date format is conformed to all regions all right conform to all regions all right let's take a look and see what this thing shows up okay look at that oh what's wrong with this guy short long uh short long hmm ah uh, something's not right there let's take a look at it something's not right here so evidently it doesn't like short huh Let's look at the long. Long is not good either. Uh, this one right here, same here. It doesn't like that. Oh, this one, uh, this one needs to be like that. Let's, uh, let's fix this one. Oh. oh let's try that again we're gonna click on this booger here that's better so we got our that's 618. Let's add more stuff to it. But I noticed that short and long doesn't work. You see there? Short and long doesn't work. <laughs> um, let's add some more stuff to it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy this guy. Um, Do I'm gonna do um, format thinking out loud, trying to make it more universal. But that should work. Is it short time? Let's see if uh, short time. Oh, that's not the one. Um, how about this one, general?
about um, you know I uh, playing with this thing here to see what that looks like and uh, forgot to put this one right here see there so All right, let's take a look. See, general works. Uh, oh, but the R E. See that? Got the E. That's better. Continue. A general doesn't work either. General doesn't work either. See how I'm trying to get that short date, long date? Alright. Well, if that doesn't work, here's what you need to do. Let's fix up some more. This one we are going to add date right here. Alright. So we're going to add um, we are going to add Yeah, that's fine right there if you come in here you can say day or month day year or year space it out all right so here's the same thing that first one we're gonna put uh, month day year actually right there like so okay now this one right here okay this one right here we're going to change this guy um the general is just whatever it is all right it's now so yeah we want to say uh me date that's all because we already tell it there's a time in there and here you see the short all you want to do is me date like so all right and the long it's exactly the same thing as this date as this guy that's the long all right that is the long so um we're gonna fix this one uh, instead of format right here the general we're gonna take this one out um right here um this one is um about now get the current all right and i'm going to show you how to and I'm going to show you how to um, convert uh, the date without time and include time in a minute. But right now, see this short date right here? We just do C date. So we change that to we change that to C date. Put the date in there. All right. And this long right here, we don't need it because long is the same as a noun. And I'm going to show you how to format that. 
All right, what if you have a date? All right, so that's the fee date. Now this is month. That is month name, month number, day name, day number. Let's see the week. All right, save that. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, oh, TFT. So, save. Looks like something we are not right here. One, two, three, C date. Oh, that's right. All right, let's continue. Oops, continue in here. That looks more like it. You see the C date? Um, hmm. See this C date and the uh, and the date. Now that's real funny here. That now in there. That they format that's that thing look real funny what they have missed there oh this now the second one in it yeah so that basically you can't even do that in there huh that's weird We're gonna force that to uh, we're gonna force that to be string. So we're gonna force that to be string. I don't want that to be now. Or you can take the parentheses out. If you take this parentheses out, it will correct it. All right. For in yeah. But right now, I'm gonna show you that you can make that already. See that? Uh, something not right there. Hold on. Oh, got you. That's why. Ah, I know why. I know why. I got this guy right here on this side. That's why. That's better. Um. Yeah, but this is how you change the uh, name and time. Um, time format. Did I miss format right here? What happened there? Something's not right on that one. We got format, the top one, date format, line. The first line. Oh, I got you. I know why. It's long, so let's fix that. Let's fix that. I know why. I know why. We can move this guy way out there. Uh, it push over so that will help it that will help it oh let's take a look that's better see that it pushed now and it's like oh no wonder I was scratching my head it actually is too long and it just pushed to the next line that's why but anyways but you can see how that is working there um now this 37 here the 37 week the week did today is 37th week of the year all right 37 week of the year now 375 here i'm not sure what that is but today's see that's the day 14th day this is a Thursday all right 
that's number that's all oh, it's four all right so here we go we're gonna add some more in there this way you know what you are expecting here right here you only get two there's no such thing as three so I'm going to take that out and here copy that take one out one two three four don't need that so this is how you learn how to work with the uh, date. See there? So the month is four of them. Abbreviation is three of them. Two is the number. All right. That's the whole name abbreviation number and the week is 37 week so that's how you work with date all right now the C date why did it not change that to uh, just uh, date I'm thinking this is how you do it because I've done this before why didn't it uh, this right here. I'm gonna try that again. Date. Short date means just get the date, but to get a date, you, you just to get a short date, just to get a short date. Um, yeah, I'm gonna show you differently. How about date? Here we go. Year, month. Day. So now we're going to change this guy to uh, no, 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 this guy. Eight. Here we go. But this is uh, this is actually the best way to do. All right. Year. Best way to uh, format your date. This will conform to all region. The date serial. All right. This will conform to all region, and then I like saw. So. so let's take a look. See that? That will conform to all region. So that's how you work with date. That's how you work with date and time and all that. Oh, let's do some more. Let's do some more. We need to make this guy a little uh, longer now. Now that I, I'm in the mood. So we're going to kind of color this guy up. And maybe darken it out.
that looks good right there. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we are going to do some more formatting. We'll go ahead and run this guy like so. Now, what if you um, what if you want to do some more stuff? For instance, you want to get the first day of the month. How do you do that? All right, so let's. First day of the month. Uh, basically, you just do a date serial. All right. This will be a year. This will be month, whatever month it is, and just put one there. That's all it is. That's all you have to do. All right. And now I'm just going to copy this over here. Copy. I um, don't know why I put that guy there. And then we're going to... Modify this guy. And change his uh, day to one. See there? That's how you are changing the day. Okay. First day of the month. That's the first day of this month. What about the last day of this month? Hallelujah. How about last day of the month? Well, Last day of the month. Let me show you how to get the last day of the month. Basically, basically, you want to add your your month to the next month. You see. Make that next month and then make this guy a zero. So what it says is that hey if you are September I'm gonna make you October and go look for day zero. Well does any month have any day zero? And it can't find it, it's gonna drop back down, you see, to the previous day day zero is pre is be, comes before the first of the month so if you say all right let's go to october now i'm gonna make you october now go to zero month what is that zero comes before the first of the of october which is <laughs> 31st <laughs> or whatever that is uh, so we're gonna do that we're gonna copy this guy we're gonna add one just like we specify. Replace that zero one to zero. Save. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. That's the last day of the month. So that's how you work with day and date. Do so you see this is the week? This is the uh, format formatting with without the a.m. and p.m. that is just 24 hours right there all right and this one right here has a.m. p.m. all right if it if it's in the uh, if it's after mid uh, uh, midday it's going to be p.m. Alright, 
or midday and thereafter. And this is just a regular day, day cereal. This is what you need to, uh, uh, the day cereal here is important. If you format your date to a date uh, cereal, and this right here is a magic, it will work with all regions, with all regions. For example, if you do date cereal, year, month, whatever it is, it's just going to format to your region here. All right. So if you in Italy, it's going to format to that Italy for uh, date format. Or if you're in India or Southeast Asia or in Europe, that will conform to your region, the date cereal. All right. So that is a ticket right here as far as the date is concerned. And that's how um, that's how you work with dates. Alright, so if you see when I could, this is how I do it. This is how I make things happen. Alright? But that's um that's what I want to show you. There you have it. These are all the formats that you can work with. That you can work with. Uh, now, if you say, "Hey, I want to see the last day of the year," what is that? Last day of the year. Let me show you how to get the last day of the year. Copy that. Plus one. Similar. To this guy right here is plus one and then keep that guy there uh, actually actually um, yeah like that that is going to be last year I think I have never done that before but it looks like it would do so what happens here, if I'm not mistaken here, I say, okay, if today is 2023, I want it to be 2024, go to the 1st January and look for zero, day zero. There's nothing there, it's gonna drop down. Well, let's put that to work. Let's put that to work. Ooh, that guy way out there. Pop that guy in there. Uh, plus one here, and take that guy out just like that. This will this will give us the la uh, last day of the uh, year. Hopefully, we'll see. There you go. Last day of the year. How about the first year? How about the first day of the year? Alright, so like this guy right here, you know, I have found no reason to do that, but just looking at the code, you would understand. So let's do last day of the year. Copy. Ah, uh, first day of the year, my bad. First day of the year. Let's take that one out. Um, simple. <laughs> simple. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> just like that. It's simple. <laughs> just like that. Take that plus out. That's the first day of the year. <laughs> Safe? Let's take a look. See that? <laughs> so that's how, uh, that's how you uh, manipulate the day and the year. Manipulate the day and the year. So regardless of what it is, all right, we can change this guy to. Let's see how it pop out. Time. Uh, let's change this guy to. Uh, 
about 11, 9 11. 9 11 is a Monday. You see that? It changed. Changed. But that's how you format your date and month and day and week. Okay, number of weeks. Alright, there's no such a thing, thing as a name of the week. Just week one, week two, week three. And today is the week 37th. Uh, anything else there? Did I miss anything? You guys comment down below if you uh, if you find that the whatever you need to work with or if you have question about this date or this uh, formatting but that's how you uh, that's how you format your date all right or your day or your week or your month all right um, that's that that's all I need to show you since I have nothing to show you as far as coding is concerned <laughs> if you're interested in something just comment below and ask me I'll show you what what to do there you have it happy programming bye for now thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe like share and hit that bell and also comment below and if you need help inbox me Thanks again.